Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on the height map of the world in this uh, runtime generated landscape system. So uh, here what we, we already worked on how to generate the mesh and in using C++ in the last episode but we didn't work on the height map part. We earlier we worked on the height map part map part using blueprints but now we are going to do the same thing but with c++ so this is the final result we get so you can see a nice landscape uh, so this is generated with c++ so if i stop we don't have anything and if i play we have the landscape mesh so yeah so let's see how to implement this today and before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download project files of all the projects that i'm doing in my channel uh, in patreon page so once you become a member you can download any project that i have done without a limit so to the date there are like 1700 videos and for each video you can download the project so that would help me to continue what I do in this channel and let's get back to the tutorial so as of the end of the last episode this is what we had we do uh, we figured out how to generate uh, the procedure of mesh terrain comp uh, terrain uh, with C++ but still we didn't work on the height map so that's why this is all flat now right so now let's work on the height map so here i defined a function get height uh, but i didn't use it so i just put zero for the uh what is this dot is it so here i use get height And we need to give an input vector 2D so we need to give the horizontal location so f vector 2D I'll from this vertex I'll give vertex dot x and vertex dot y okay so now let's implement this function so let's take a look at the function that we developed to determine height in C++ in blueprints so this one so we have this another function pearly noise 2d function because in blueprints we only have Pearly access to Pearly noise 1D. So based on the Pearly noise 1D, I created this Pearly noise 2D function. So this is what I do there. So let's define this function uh, because here in C++ we do have access to Pearly noise. 2d function so let me simply return f math early noise c here we have early noise 1d 2d 3d i'll use 2d as input we only need to give location so i give this input location that we already have here so this would return a value in between 0 and 1 which is pretty useless uh, i mean not enough in the in terms of landscape so we might need a bigger value so if i multiply this by 10,000 c 
say let's compile and see what we get let me just simulate it's still flat so the reason should be this in when we do it in the blueprint level we have to make sure we are not using zero or one like a complete a full integer value because at those values the Berlin noise always gives zero as I remember so that's why I had to add this point one therefore I'll just implement this function Berlin noise 2d but I'll use a different name uh, and we need input location input scale amplitude and an offset so so get tight float Berlin noise extended effect uh, to the location and so this uh, passes as a const this one also because I should not be modifying this const uh, scale and offset so since this is 2d this could be a const effect uh, offset okay now we need to implement this So here I return F not Berlin noise two D so insert location multiplied by scale and add it to Add to that another vector two D point one F point one F that's this one and and the offset and multiply this with okay so now here I'll return um, early noise extended as the location the current location and then scale so if I use Zero, zero. Four zeros. Zero, zero, one F and then uh, amplitude twenty thousand. And now we to add F and offset is 
factor 2d that's it so that's one and we have four of these so let me just say, use only this and see if it works compilation succeeded yeah see now we have some shape but it's too smooth so we don't have details now let's use harmonies so harmonies so that means I think I explained this here previously also so now what we have now is right, something like this so if i multiply this or get uh, another harmonic of this one so we will get we will get another one like this so if i add these two together result would be something like this so it will have more details basically so i'll you do the same thing I have done here this is again three zeros one ten thousand point two so plus three zeros one ten thousand point two and zero zero one five hundred point three zero one hundred point four okay so perhaps I should do it like this so it's more clear Is the syntax correct? Let's see. Okay, it's correct. See, now we have a much better, much detailed terrain. So, yeah that's how you define you create a height map using c++ now you can play with these parameters and try to get the look that you desire so if i use uh, these values it looks more like this so i think i like this one better than what we had earlier so yeah now we have the landscape with the height map so next time let's start working on uh, the spawning of the spawning part well actually it's already working by spawning part i mean as the character moves around the map the map generates and this is happening in C++ now but
ici. But still we, it's not very smooth. We see the FPS drop when the landscape is being generated. So I am planning to utilize some of the multi-threading and also uh, look into other ways to optimize the system further. So let's look into those things in upcoming episodes. And thanks for watching. Updated project files will be available here to download in Patreon page. Link will be in the description below. And see you in another episode. Goodbye.